Hi everyone, uh, this is my first ever video on YouTube and the subject will be the amazing uh, Amazon Kindle. I've been uh, doing quite a bit of a research the last like a uh, few days and I've been trying to decide between the Kindle, Nook and even Nook Color got into picture for a while. Anyway, I finally decided on the Amazon Kindle because it's just perfect for what I wanted to use it for, just like reading my PDF files, books, and things like that. Uh, the main reason actually why I got it, like I have a lot of PDF files and uh, reading them uh, on my laptop was kind of getting uh, harder and harder because it was a lot of strain on my eyes and I, my eyes were getting all tired and watery. So the Amazon Kindle is just like perfect uh, for what for what I want to use it for. Let me just turn it on. As you see, like it's very quick uh, from the screen saver. It just jumps into the home page. Uh, let's start with 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 uh, water for elephants. This is one of New York Times bestsellers actually currently. And as you see, like the text is readable, it's very comfortable. You can uh, change the font size and uh, the line spacing, and you can have more lines per li uh, more words per line. And actually, the, one of the one of my favorite features is the text to speech option. Like when you turn it on, actually. Story. It starts is an old uh, reading story the book. Who, in keeping with John Opdyke's blueprint for fiction, can keep an organized mass of images and characters the Toronto Globe and Mail Sarah Groon offers love, drama and thrills under the big top. Only the most hardened audience I members like will it. be able to resist. I mean, it may not be a feature that you always use, but I think it's a great feature, like when you get tired or like when you're in the bed, like you really want to read it but your eyes are so tired, just like put your headphones, like turn the text to speech on and just listen to your book. I, I kind of like to listen and at the same time read. Uh, somehow like it, I really get into in the mood of the book. I don't know, that's me. Everyone has their own way. So anyway, this is the uh, Moby he actually this book is in the Moby format which is like the actual format uh, for the Amazon uh, there's another format but I think not I think Moby is one of them so let's go back to the home page and let me show you a PDF file uh, let me show you the same file first in the Moby version uh, the science of influence Actually, this was actually a, a conversion from the PDF file to a Moby file. As you see, it's just like a regular Moby file. You wouldn't think it's a PDF. It's just like sometimes you get like uh, these characters. Like it's it's not exactly as the PDF file, but it doesn't really bother me because the part that I'll be reading is the text, and that part is like very readable uh, and the good thing as soon as you convert a PDF file to a Moby file it allows you to use all these uh, settings uh, which you can change the typeface, line spacing, words per line and my favorite text-to-speech option let's go to the same file but in the PDF version this is the exact same file. So as you see, like it shows the PDF exactly the way it is, and the text is kind of small. Uh, if you don't mind that, I mean, it allows you to make some minor changes. You can change the sizing, like the way it shows on the screen. You can make it a little larger, but when you do that, like this zoom uh, section comes out and when you zoom it actually what happens like you have to like keep like pressing buttons left and right uh, it's not it's not the best I mean 
just like actual PDF files like converting them to Mobis I think that would be the best thing to do and I don't mind there is this actually a free software that does it for you uh, that's how I did this conversion it, it takes like literally seconds and uh, it's quick and I just wanted to show you both versions that's why I transferred the PDF and the Mobi version of the same book it's it's great actually this video uh, I made uh, for a friend also because he wants to buy a Kindle and he was trying to decide which if he should buy it or not because uh, he has the same needs as I do he wants to read his PDFs on the Kindle he loved the Kindle as it is but uh, he wasn't sure if it fits his purpose so I hopefully this video will help him uh, also that's uh, that's it for now yeah Kindle is great uh, with Mobi files with PDFs it's just such a cool device it's very portable it's thin uh, look at this it's it's amazing it has good speakers and I just bought a, a nice case for it I'm waiting for it to be delivered it's great. I I would highly recommend if you want to if you like to read books, uh, don't think of it as just a digital device. Because my wife hated this uh, ebook reader I got for her like years ago. It had like a color screen. It was one of the first of its kind, and she somehow never really got into it. But I'm sure like she'll love she'll love this this Kindle because it's perfect, it's very portable, it's readable, you, the technical part is very easy, I mean you don't have to be like a, a technical savvy person in order, in order to be able to use it, so it's just great and hopefully I'll be making more videos, let's see how this one is gonna come and thank you, thanks for watching